to welcome to ss unitex social this side and this is continuation of pyspark tutorial so in this video we are going to see about the count function and count distinct function so i would strongly recommend to watch all these videos in the sequence order as i am recording and uploading today's agenda is first we'll see about the count function then we'll see count function with the group by and then we'll see distinct function with count function and at last we'll see about the count distinct function so if we are having this distinct with the count function then why we are going to use the count distinct function so all those we'll see in this video so let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical so here we are reading data from one of the csv file that is the sales new dot csv and we have loaded the data into this df data frame and this data frame is containing the data for the sales now the first that we just want to check the total count on this data frame so simply we can use df dot we can specify the count function here and we can execute so what it will return it will return the total count so as you can see total 799 rows in this data frame so output of this is 799 so simply we can use data frame dot on function next our requirement is we just want to check the item wise total count in this data frame so we have to use the group by on the item name so we can use df dot here we have to specify the group by function so simply we can use the group by and inside this group by we have to specify the column name so the column is item name and last we can use the count function and let me put this in one of the data frame that is a df1 and let me use the display with the df1 let me try to execute it so it will be going to return the item name and whatever the count is having in this data frame so that we can see like these are the items and whatever the count is displaying here so simply we can use the group by and count function if we have multiple column to group by then inside this we can simply put comma and add another column next we just want to check the distinct count on this data frame so for that again let me try to use the df dot we have to use the distinct function and then we have to use the count function so what it will be returning it will be returning the total distinct count on this data frame so that we can see 799 so like all these rows are unique but here our requirement is we just want to check the distinct count of the items so we cannot use directly item names here inside this count we have to use the count distinct function so let me try to use the count distinct function so df1 equals to df dot here let me try to use the select clause and inside this select we have to specify your count distinct function so let me use the count distinct and inside this we can specify the column so the column name is item name so here we can see this count distinct function is not available so what we have to do we have to import this function so for importing the function we can use the pi spark dot sql dot functions then import here we can specify the count distinct now we can use it let me try to execute and we'll see so now the total we can see 40 so 40 distinct items are available in this data frame so as we could see here then we can say if we are going to check the distinct count on any specific column or the combination of any column then we cannot use the distinct with count we have to use the count distinct function if we just want to check the sales order date the combination of sales order date and the item name what will be the distinct count then we can specify that column here and let me execute it so it will be returning the distinct count that is 500 so this is the combination of item name with the soid so i hope guys you have understand how we can use the count distinct count function count function with the group by count function with the distinct clause thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video